we're going to talk about the law of demand. First, we must establish what is a marketplace. A marketplace is a place where goods and services are sold. The Great Lakes Mall is where you might go to buy shoes or clothes. The West Side Market would be a place where you would go to buy fruits, vegetables, meats. Another example would be Giant Eagle or Heinen's. You might be looking for a service, like at a barber or a salon or at a bank. Those are all places where people are going to purchase a good or a service. A free market is the kind of market that we have here in the United States. And in a free market, people can make, buy, and sell whatever good or service they want. They are free to set their own prices. They can choose whatever kind of work they want to have. They can choose to have investors or to invest in a company. They can be their own entrepreneur. They earn the profits. They can compete with other people. But it's completely up to them. Them. It is not completely regulated by the government. There are going to be rules and laws to follow. But for the most part, people can make, buy, and sell whatever good or service they want. Consumers. Consumers are the people who buy goods and services to meet their wants and needs. So every time you go into the store, you are a consumer. You are the person who is there to buy something. So what is demand then? Demand is how much of a good or service people are willing and able to buy at a particular price. If there's a sale, a lot of times people are willing to buy something that maybe they wouldn't normally buy because it's on sale and it's a little bit cheaper so they can maybe afford to buy it. Or they might stock up on it when it's on sale because they get a good price. For example, you know you're going to be having a graduation party or you're going to have a birthday party or something. When pop is on sale, you might buy some extra ones so that you can kind of stock up on them and save yourself money in the long run. Demand is determined by a demand curve. A demand curve is a curve that shows the quantity or how much of a product consumers or the buyers would be willing to buy at different prices. The demand curve starts in the upper left and comes down to the right. That is because when the price is high, consumers don't usually buy as many. But when prices are lower, they will tend to buy more. So, what is the law of demand? Keep in mind that laws are scientific laws, meaning that this is what we can expect to happen in the most ideal circumstances. So the law of demand, the scientific law of demand, is that as the price of a good or service increases, the demand for that good or service decreases. And as the price of a good or service decreases, the demand for that good or service increases. So basically, take a look at the thumbs in these pictures. The thumbs are different. When price goes up, people buy less. When price goes down, people tend to buy more. Think of that as your thumbs being different. And you can remember the law of demand begins with a D and the thumbs are different. This always pertains to price and how price affects demand. There are other factors that are going to affect the demand. These are things that people are going to consider before they buy a product. Something they might consider are their tastes and preferences. So how much do they really want the product? So if the product is really high in price, <clears throat> but it's something that they really want or really need, they may go ahead and pay a higher price. But if they don't really necessarily need it, and it's not something that they truly love, 
they may not buy it. So is the product going to truly satisfy their want or their need? Think about clothes as well. You might really love an outfit that you see at the mall, but it's just not worth the money you're willing to pay. Another factor is income. How much money or income do you have? And how much would you be willing to spend on the product? We all have limited income and we have to determine what is most important to spend that money on. Sometimes we have extra income that allows us to spend it on something fun and sometimes we don't. Substitutes. Is there something else that you can purchase to satisfy the want better or at a lower price? So let's say you wanted to get a new gaming system. Would you prefer to have the PS4 or the Xbox One? They both have similar products. They're, they both are similar products, I should say, doing similar things. Maybe the Xbox One costs more and you're willing to buy the PS4 because it happens to be on sale. It just all depends on what it is that you want and it depends on what you're looking to get out of the product. As far as a vehicle goes, you could purchase a brand new car with all the bells and whistles, but do you really need all of those things in the car or could you possibly get by with a used car that has just at least the basic minimum things that you need. Complementary goods. This is kind of another key one to keep in mind and these are the things that kind of we sometimes forget about. If you think about gaming systems, you can buy the gaming system but you're going to have to keep replacing things or buying things to make you happy with that gaming system. So you have your controllers. Controllers might break and you might have to buy more. You might have to buy batteries to make those controllers run or charging cords. If they are able to be recharged, a lot of times we know those cords go out. What about different types of controllers that you might need to play different games? And speaking of games, Oh, we got to buy those games so that we can actually play the gaming system. So there's a lot of things to consider in that. Uh, finally, they look at what are the expectations in the future. Will the product cost more or less next month or next year? Keep in mind phones. How many people run out and buy the brand new phone that comes out? Some people have to have it. They're willing to say, I want it now. I'm willing to pay a higher price. But some people will say, you know, I know if I wait maybe six months to a year, the price on that phone is going to come down because they're going to come out with newer models. So maybe I'll wait and buy this model later down the road to save some money. So let's wrap up demand and the law of demand. First, we want to remember that consumers are the people who buy goods and services in a market. The consumers are the people who affect demand <clears throat> and determine that demand curve. They are the ones deciding how much they are willing and able to buy of a good or service at varying prices. Keep in mind your thumbs. As the price increases, the demand decreases. And then as the price decreases, the demand will increase. And there are several other factors that are going to influence the demand for a product or a service. It will all depend on a person's personal taste and what they can afford and what they are willing to spend. I hope everybody's doing well. Have a great night and we'll pick up with demand again tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.